What's shaking, everyone? So I think even though that the debates are dominating the news cycle right now, I think that this is a far bigger story because it proves that uh, all that Russian hoax shit was just in fact that. And uh, guess what? We have a mastermind behind everything now, or at least it seems that way. And uh, can't get another opinion out there that uh, doesn't want to discredit it. But uh, boy, is it real. And before we dive into it, I just want to thank everybody for taking the time to click on this video. And if you are brand new here, thank you for taking a chance on somebody new in the biz. And I'm just here to report on the news and report on sports to the best of my abilities, parse out the truth, tell you about the horseshit that's going on, and uh, try to make it a little bit funny as well, because uh, all this shit is just far too serious. And let's have a laugh, shall we? If you appreciate what I do here, if you want something covered in the future, feel free to drop it in that comment section down below. And while you're down there, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button or just dropping a simple like on the video really helps my channel grow. And that's the point of this. I want to be up there with all the other big guys because I think my information is quite important. It's stuff you aren't going to hear everywhere. And by the way, I like to take things a little bit lighter than uh, the rest of these people out there. <sighs> if you know what I mean. Anyways, so DNI Ratcliffe confirms intelligence implicating Hillary Clinton in plot against Trump was not Russian disinformation. So what the fuck does this mean? Despite a breathless report by Politico that claims that Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe's recently disclosed intel on Hillary Clinton is Russian disinfo, a DNI statement clarifies that the new disclosure is in fact not Russian disinformation. What is Politico trying to smear? Uh, guess what? Hillary Clinton uh, made up all the Russia shit and tried to place the blame squarely at the feet of Donald Trump. You don't believe me? Here is the note. It is addressed directly to Senator Lindsey Graham. Now, what does it say here? In response to your request for intelligence community information related to the Federal Bureau of Investigation's Crossfire Hurricane investigation, I have the declassified the following. In late July 2016, before the 2016 presidential elections, intelligence agencies obtained insight into Russian intelligence anal analysis alleging that U.S. presidential candidate Hillary Clinton had approved a campaign plan to stir up a scandal against United States presidential candidate Donald Trump by, try by tying him to Putin and the Russians' hacking of the Democratic National Committee. The intelligence community does not know the accuracy of this allegation or the extent to which the Russian intelligence analysis may reflect exaggeration or fabrication. According to the handwritten notes, former Central Intelligence Agency Director Brennan subsequently briefed President Obama and other senior national security officials on the intelligence, including the alleged approval by Hillary Clinton on July 26, 2016 of the proposal from one of her foreign policy advisors to vilify Donald Trump by stirring up a scandal claiming interference by Russian security services. And it gets uh, just a touch better. On September 7th, 2016, U.S. intelligence officials forwarded a an investigation referral to FBI Director James Comey and Deputy, Deputy Assistant Director of Counterintelligence, let's say it all together, Peter Strzok, regarding U.S. presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's approval of a plan concerning U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump and Russian hackers hampering U.S. elections as a means of distracting the public for her use of a private email server. Well, take a look at that. It was all fucking bunk. It was all bunk. And it was not reported at all yesterday. It didn't trend on Twitter, even though this should be the biggest fucking information out there right now. If the MSM wasn't complete, total partisan hacks. But now that we know what the letter has to say, now we can see these smears in action. So here's what Jack Posobiec uncovered from the desk of Ratcliffe, actually, to clarify that this was not, in fact, as Politico claimed, a Russian disinformation campaign. Straight from the desk of Director of National Intelligence Ratcliffe, 
To be clear, this is not Russian disinformation and has not been assessed by such by the intelligence community. I'll be briefing Congress on the sensitive sources and methods by which it was obtained in the coming days. So let's parse through the Politico smear. Citing two sources familiar with the matter, Politico purported that Radcliffe's disclo disclosure is baseless, just like those uh, Trump's tax returns from the New York Times. You notice how there was no cooperation, no sort of independent sources confirming that these were in fact true? Yeah, no. And Trump obliterated that on the debate stage last night by saying there he paid millions of dollars in taxes and guess what we won't know until the audit's over according to ratcliffe u.s intelligence agencies in late july 2016 attained insight into russian intelligence and analysis which alleges that clinton had approved an offensive to link trump to russia the letter does not definitively clar clarify whether the russian intelligence analysis refers to intelligence activities conducted by the u.s or by russia so what do I think all this means? Well, I can sure as fuck tell you that uh, Trump didn't have anything to do with Russia. Didn't have anything. Also, in the tax returns, it didn't link him to Russia in any means. What I really think this is, is just a little bit of a tip of the cap to the upcoming Durham probe that is, well, centered around all the Obamagate controversies, which Michael Flynn is tied to, and... It's gonna get fucking spicy. Dudes, uh, I think this is just a little bit of a uh, tip-off to what we can expect. Uh, a lot of people out there thinking that we weren't going to be seeing any sort of high-profile perp walks. But if this is anything to go to, and this is not, not insignificant, double negatives, yeah, fun. I think that, um, yeah, Trump definitely needs to be re-elected. And that's why they're also pushing so hard, because... If the establishment loses this time, um, there's some cells in Pound Me in the Ass prison that uh, have Obama's name on them, Biden's name on them, and uh, the one true thick ankled dog face herself, Hillary Clinton. We all know that she's uh, used to slatch and snatch, so she better get uh, acquainted with that orange jumpsuit that she was going to be fitted for because guess what? When Trump wins re-election, he's going to be in control of the courts. And guess what? She's going to jail. So that was just a quick little update on breaking news that uh, nobody's reporting on except for the good folks at the Post Millennial, of course, and Jack Posobiec over at uh, One American News. But um, yeah, ask CNN to talk about it. And uh, they'll just tell you that Orange Man is bad. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Trying to parse out the shit from the truffles and uh in my opinion this is the truffle anyways guys thanks for taking the time to watch this video i've been don consuelo i want you guys to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone